Hey guys, I wanted to show you how to download and install uh, ISE. Uh, you're going to need it for some of the older chips, and, and I'd like to work with some of the older chips uh, and some of the older boards like my Basis 2 and uh, Mojo and things like that. Um, so we'll get the, the full suite of programs going on here. So let's get moving on that. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the uh, the link that I'll provide below. You're going to want to find the latest version um, for your system. Uh, for today, we're doing a Linux install. Uh, this multi-file download, you know, this is from back in the day. We don't really need to do that multi-file thing. Uh, we're going to go down and pull the, the full product installation. Uh, so we're going to find the full installer for Linux, and we're going to click on that link and get that sucker started to download. Now, this is a really big file. Of course, you've got to... Uh, Put in your credentials, which I've kindly blocked out. Um, we'll get all of this put in, and we'll get to start downloading. So with this, I want to go ahead and save the file. I'm going to just uh, save it. It'll go to my downloads page, or my downloads folder. Um, it's, what is it, uh, 6.1. So I'm going to give this a little bit of time. Uh, we'll speed through this real quick. So we're going to go through this real quick, and uh, we'll come back when uh, when it's downloaded. So now that we've got this thing downloaded, let's go ahead and extract it. Uh, we're going to want to go to our terminal. And uh, we're going to navigate to the the folder that we downloaded to, which is just our downloads folder. So I start out with LL just to see everything in the folder that I'm in. I'm going to look through this. It's the downloads folder. Uh, so I'm going to change directory CD to downloads. There we go. So now we're in our downloads folder. We use ls or ll. We can see it. Um, we're going to extract it with the. We're going to extract it with uh, the the tar program here, and put in some options, xbf, and then we're going to copy this from our screen, and then just hit enter. That'll extract the files. Um, and once those are extracted, we can uh, move forward with the installation. Be prepared, this takes a little bit. Maybe make a cup of tea or coffee. There we go. So now that that's downloaded, um, we're going to use our LS and it'll show that uh, this was extracted to our downloads folder. Um, so let's change directory to get into that uh, that folder there. I'm just going to copy, paste. Now that we're in that folder, we can see there's uh, a few, uh, quite a few folders and uh, two programs. Uh, the program we're going to use to do this install is X Setup. It looks like the permissions are already set up for execution, and we're going to start this X Setup with administrative privileges. This is our installer starting up, and we'll click Next. Uh, accept all the licenses. Make sure you read through them. Next. Uh, read through all the licenses. Next. And we're going to go ahead and install the ISC Design Suite System Edition. Um, I think most people used to go with the ISC Webpack. I think uh, the best way is probably just to install the ISC Design Suite System Edition and then uh, use your Webpack license. Uh, so this is about a 20 gig uh, install. It probably works out to be 22, 23. Click Next. We're gonna leave those default options. Click Next. Op Xilinx is fine. We have, uh, we have Vivado set up in our tools slash Xilinx file, so this shouldn't uh, cross with that. I'm going to go ahead and copy our install location uh, just so that we can remember it later. And I'm going to install. Now it's going through and extracting uh, and it's going to run through the install process. So I will, uh, I'll bring you back when that's done. So congratulations, you've installed uh, Xilinx ISE. Now you got to be able to, to find it. So, so the next step is to, uh, to source the file, right? So we're going to put this in, and I will put the command down below um, to source the file. 
what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna find the settings64.sh file, and we're going to put it into um, our bash RC. Previously, if you've watched the Vivado video, I put it into dot profile just to show that it would work. I will put this into the bash RC to show that that will work as well. Um, so the best place to start with this is within the directory that we copied earlier, which didn't actually copy. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to find it. We're gonna change the directory to the root directory. We're gonna list all the things in that directory. Um, what we're looking for is our opt. So we're gonna change the opt directory and then we will list that directory. Uh, now we know we've got Xilinx in there, so we're gonna to change to that directory with CD, and we're going to list that directory. And what we're looking for is to dig down into this, 14.7, uh, to find our settings.sh file. Um, and then ISE, All right, so now we're down into our ISE DS file, and uh, you can see we've got our settings64.sh there. So what we're gonna do, we're going to use this command called pwd, and that's just gonna list our current directory. Then I'm gonna copy this and paste it, and then I'm gonna put this uh, settings64 behind it, so I'll copy that. I'll put a slash, and then I'll paste that. Now I've got the full link here and I can just go through and copy that entire thing. So now that I have that copied, I'm actually, I'm just gonna hit enter um, just to save it in my history. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the directory to my home directory. You can just type in Ubuntu, you can just type CD enter and it'll take you home and you'll see that we're home. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit my .bash RC with Nano. Um, you could probably get into this from a different editor, but Nano is my favorite. Bash RC. Now we're gonna go to the very bottom of this and we're gonna type source and then we're gonna paste that directory and that file. And then we're going to hit Control X to save it. We're going to hit Yes to destroy the old one. And there we have it. Um, not too bad. And what, we're, what we'll do here is just exit to get out of that. And then we're going to restart the terminal back up. And that should rerun that uh, bash RC. Okay, so the next step is just to run ISE um, by typing ISE. And it'll start up uh, and get running here. Now it's going to bring you straight to... Uh, of course, there's this tip here. I'm just going to hit OK on that. It's going to bring you straight to this error that a license was not found for the ISC feature. Um, so that means we need to go get the license. If we click OK, it's going to bring up the license manager for us. Um, what you'd really like to be able to do is automate a lot of this, but since we're on Linux, um, it, it won't. Um, so what we're going to do is get the free Vivado ISC Webpack license. We're going to hit Next, and we're going to hit Connect Now which is gonna bring us to this screen, which is actually not gonna do us anything. So what we're gonna do is go up here, uh, we're gonna to go to xilinx.com, get license. So that'll take us to our uh, product licensing page, uh, which I've kindly blacked out. And we're gonna hit next. All right, and what we're going to do is create a new license, generate node locked license. So from here, this is where you would uh, normally go through and just generate a node lock license and select all the things that you would want uh, in your license. Then after you do that, make sure to download the license and you import the license into your ISE afterward. Um, in the Vavado video, you can go look at that one on my page, uh, link down below. And it shows you, if you want to scrub to that, that section, it'll show you how to download the license and import the license. It's the same process. But since I already have a Vivado license, I'm just going to go ahead and use that license. So from this page, since I've already downloaded a license for Vivado, we'll see if that works. 
Now it, it uh, loaded that license. Let's close this window. Uh, we'll see if it'll let us put a new project up. Yay. So I want to make sure that that worked and it doesn't pop back up on me. So I'm going to reload IIC. There are no license warnings. Uh, so that should be good to go. If you haven't downloaded Vivado uh, like I have recently and, and put a license for it, it's not too bad. There's actually a video. I'll link it down below. It's how I installed Xilinx. You can just kind of scroll through that to get to the actual license install part. And from there, you can uh, download a new license and then uh, the license file. And you'll just be loading that file into ISE instead of into Vivado. Uh, thankfully, I can do it on both. And if you wanted to use both, um, you could. Also, if you want to have an icon on your desktop for ISC um, that will go basically right here, watch the other video for Vivado. I show how to do uh, icon there, and it's the same process. Um, and that's what I'm going to do to put this icon on here. So you can scrub through that video and find the icon. Uh, you can also scrub through the video and find the license. So if you like this content and you want to see the upcoming videos of uh, new boards and old boards being uh, spun up and also uh, new and interesting projects, please uh, hit the like button below and, and subscribe. That subscribe will bring you uh, any updates on some of my new projects that I'll be coming out with for uh, driving these boards and stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped. Have a great day and don't forget to love well.